All right, everybody. We know that uh, sometimes on the 500 EXC, it's very beneficial to adjust the throttle position sensor, but getting to the wires is really difficult. So what we've got here is a harness that makes it very, very easy to get to the wires you need to get to. And all it does is it's got the same plugs that KTM used on the throttle position sensor and on the main cable to the computer. And it's got some taps here in the wires where you can connect the voltage meter. So all you do is unplug the throttle position sensor and plug this in between, kind of like an extension cord. Then you put your multimeter on the red and the black wires here, and you can easily measure the voltage. I'll show you how it's done. Okay, what we have here is my personal 500 EXC. This is a 2014 model. I'm going to show you how easy it is to connect this harness and adjust the voltage on your throttle position sensor. You do not have to remove your gas tank to do this, especially if you're using this harness, but I removed my gas tank just to make it easy to see with the camera. The first thing you're going to want to do is remove the plug from the throttle position sensor on the side of the throttle body. So it's this boot right here. Messing with this rubber boot is going to be the most difficult part of this whole procedure. Getting it off is easy. Back on is a real stinker. Once you have that out of the way, the plug here, you're going to want to give this little tab a good squeeze with your thumb then this, the plug should pop right off. And what you see here is the, the plug that goes back to the computer. And this is your throttle position sensor. And you're going to take this harness that we talked about earlier. This is going to plug right in to the wire that goes back to the computer. And the other end is going to plug directly into your throttle position sensor. Just like that. And what you have here is the three little taps where you can check the voltages on the wires. The only two you're really concerned with at this point in time is the black and the red. Those are the feedbacks to the computer. So all you're going to do now is take your test probes, turn on got my voltmeter, I turn on my meter, I take my probes, and put the black in with the black wire, and the red with the red wire. You can see I'm reading nothing. Now when I turn the bike on, you're going to get voltage to the throttle sensor, throttle position sensor. And here you'll see that mine, the way it came from the factory, is reading 0.58 volts. Uh, if you read around on the forms, that's a little bit on the low side for optimal performance, so we'll be adjusting that uh, shortly. To adjust the voltage, all you have to do is loosen this little Allen key here, and then spin the throttle position sensor until you get the voltage that you want. Now notice, this is the sensor that tells the computer where the throttle is, so the computer knows how much gas to give the bike and how to adjust the timing. So if you modulate your throttle while you're voltmeters on here, you will see the voltage change. Just so happens that this is at idle, uh, the voltage is where you adjust it. And I hope everybody can see now how easy it is to do this. Your bike will start and run with this harness installed. It doesn't uh, disconnect anything, it just provides a way for you to get to the wires easily with your probes. I do not recommend riding with the harness installed. There's no waterproofing or anything. And that's the reason the wires are so difficult to get to to begin with, because the wiring is made waterproof, so you can't get your test probes in there. And that is the problem that this harness solves for you. So, I hope that everybody sees how easy it is. Uh, you can take this with you to the track or on a, on a ride, make adjustments on the fly. It's very, very easy. No more taking everything apart, building your own power supplies, nothing like that. Hope this helps. Okay, I just realized that I neglected to show on camera actually making the adjustments, so let's go back and do that. I misspoke earlier when I mentioned this was an Allen key on the throttle uh, position sensor. It's not. It's actually a Torx style bolt. So we've got a little Torx driver here. I've got my power on. I'm seeing 0.58 volts. We're going to shoot for somewhere in the neighborhood of 0.64. Seems to be a popular number. First thing I want to do is loosen this little Torx bolt here so that we have movement of the position sensor. Now we're going to keep an eye on the voltage. We're going to actually rotate the sensor. If you, can, if you can't see, I'm actually rotating the sensor. And you can see I can get quite a range of voltages here. 0 0.3, all the way up to way up high. I'm going to shoot for 0 0.64, somewhere in that neighborhood. 0 0.62, 0 0.63, 0 0.64, 0 0.63, somewhere in there. there you go. It's probably going to move a little bit when I tighten it back up too. It's a little bit subjective. And for those of you guys who want to be super precise, can go out to three digits, doesn't, I don't think it's really going to make that big a difference if you get that precise, but shoot for 0.64. Just seeing a little tighten and see how much it moves. Move a little, I'll go back some. Okay. 
Way too much. It's very, very sensitive. The slightest movement moves it quite a bit. Four four things can go down a little bit when I tighten it. That's right. Just snug, not super tight. 0.38, very close to 0.64. We'll take it. And we'll take the bike out and see how it rides. And that's it. Now I can unplug everything, put the uh, boot back on, and I'm ready to go. It's just that easy.